King James Bible, the book of Job, chapter 32. So these three men ceased to answer Job, because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then was kindled the wrath of Elihu, the son of Barachel, the Buzite, of the kindred of Ram. Against Job was his wrath kindled, because he justified himself rather than God. Also against his three friends was his wrath kindled, because they had found no answer, and yet had condemned Job. Now Elihu had waited till Job had spoken, because they were elder than he. When Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, then his wrath was kindled. And Elihu the son of Barachel the Buzite answered and said, I am young, and ye are very old, wherefore I was afraid, and durst not shew mine opinion. I said they should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth him understanding. Great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgment. Therefore I said, hearken to me, I, will, I also will shew mine opinion. Behold, I have waited for your words. I gave ear to your reasons while ye searched out what to say. Yea, I attended unto you, and behold, there was none of you that convinced Job, or that answered his words. Lest ye should say, We have found out wisdom. God trusteth, thrusteth him down, not man. Now he hath not directed his words against me, neither will I answer him with your speeches. They were amazed. They answered no more. They left off speaking. When I had waited, for they spake not, but stood still, and answered no more, I said, I will answer also my part. I will also shew mine opinion, for I am full of matter. The spirit within me constraineth me. Behold, my belly is as wine which hath no vent. It is ready to burst like new bottles. I will speak that I may be refreshed. I will open my lips to answer and answer. Let me not, I pray you, accept my, any man's person, neither let me give flattering titles unto men. For I know not to give flattering titles, in doing so my Maker would soon take me away.